Now to that developing story, the investigation into how a Florida man was able to fly his gyrocopter into one of the most restricted airspaces in the country. It's unclear how Doug Hughes made it as far as he did without radar picking up that aircraft. Our John Gonzalez at the ABC7 Live Desk with the new developments that we've learned. John? Jimmy, I see that video. Can't believe it. It's going to be a talker for a while. A day after Doug Hughes made this dramatic landing on the front lawn of the U.S. Capitol, he will appear in federal court in just over an hour to hear the charges against him. His wild ride into the nation's capital is raising major concerns about security. How does an individual in the airspace get that close? Doug Hughes flew his gyrocopter right through the no-fly zone around Washington, penetrating the missile systems, radar, and anti-aircraft weapons before crash landing. He traveled more than 50 miles, but sources say the small chopper was just that, too small, too slow, and too low, so it was never detected. A witness said Hughes was calm as he came in for the landing. There was no noise coming from him. He wasn't screaming. He wasn't shouting. Hughes told friends and family that he wanted to deliver letters to lawmakers demanding change in campaign finance laws. And I'm going to land on the Capitol Mall in front of the Capitol building. What he wanted to do was uh, very brave and all that, uh, even if a little bit stupid. The Florida Postal Carrier revealed his plans to a reporter from the Tampa Bay Times. He called me up at my office, uh, didn't identify himself, and he said, I'm going to commit an act of civil disobedience. Uh, nobody's going to get hurt. Now, but depending on who you ask this afternoon, the 61-year-old is lucky he didn't get hurt or even killed. A top lawmaker says that if he got any closer to the Capitol building, he would have been taken out by police. Live in the newsroom, John Gonzalez, ABC 7 News.